Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Monday, November 17th, around 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. The saga continues around 3i Atlas. We'll get to it in just a moment. And another round of heavy rain and mountain snow in California, as well as the Northeast. We're going to be talking about that. Buckle up and keep calm. It's boom time. Flooding, downpours, severe storms, and travel delays upcoming for the central U.S. A strengthening storm will spread heavy rain and severe thunderstorms from Texas to Missouri, raising the risk of flash flooding travel, disruptions, and damaging winds. From later Wednesday to Friday, there you can see that area, cool pocket behind, and we're talking snow to streak from the Dakotas to Minnesota, say it ain't soda, all the way into Pennsylvania and Maryland and the rest of the Northeast. This fast-moving storm is expected to sweep from the plains to the Appalachians, and we will have the full forecast in just a moment. With 11 to 18 inches of snow for Colorado by week's end, as winter returns in a big way. And another blast of winter weather to bring snow to the northeast. A reinforcing shot of Arctic air will accompany a fast-moving clipper system this weekend, spreading bursts of heavy lake-effect snow across parts of the region. And all the snow up in the Northeast, well, Stowe, Vermont sees record snowpack. That's crazy. The nearly eight-day streak of snow showers across parts of Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine has set a new daily snowpack record for the summit at Stowe Mountain in Vermont, reaching 28 inches on Sunday, the most ever in recorded history for November 16th. That is a lot of snow. Ho, ho, ho. And we need the snow in the West. All of the basins are in the red. That is terrible conditions. But we do have lots of snow coming, and we'll take a look at the forecast in a moment. Here is that snow producer in the West right now. No severe weather warnings at all across the U.S., but we've got this system and this system dumping precipitation now. We've got another round of heavy rain and mountain snow in California. Snow in the Great Lakes and the Northeast. And yeah, let's talk about it. Another round of heavy rain will renew concerns for additional flash flooding and landslides in Southern California around burn scars and coastal mountain ranges. A low pressure system is bringing enhanced snowfall downwind from the lower Great Lakes into the Northeast mountain ranges. Above average temperatures will challenge or break daily high temperatures across the Southern Plains as well. So, spicy forecast there. Let's run it through. Here is through Tuesday, and you can see that snow is going to be moving west as well as the precipitation. And here is your Wednesday into Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. What does that look like as far as total snowfall? And Well, it is a wintry wonderland. Okay, let's walk it through on the GFS model here. So overnight, there is your snow in the Sierras and the Pacific Northwest, as well as all those Great Lakes stringers. More snow for Vermont, so those records will continue to be smashed. And that's just overnight. Here is Wednesday, overnight into Thursday. Friday into Saturday morning. That's going to be snow in the Four Corners region. And Sunday into Monday. And Tuesday, another system moving through the West. Absolutely fantastic for the basins out here that are looking very dry. Seismic update, no quakes to note. Very low level, low level activity worldwide. The hotspot is the West Coast with the most right there. But nothing significant at all to report on. Worldwide volcano news for November 17th. Santa Guito to 14,000 feet first on the list. An eruption reported at Ibu today. Sokorijima, 8,000 foot blast. Raventador, ongoing volcanic ash. An eruption reported at Semaru. 20,000 foot blast at San Gay. 4,000 foot puff at White Island. A 15,000 foot puff at Fuego. Volcanic ash was seen to 16,000 feet at Raventador. Eruption reported at Ibu. An eruption at White Island with low-level eruptions continuing. An eruption reported at Semeru. Possible volcanic ash at Sangay. Fuego to 17,000 feet. And 
So Kojima, a 6,000 foot puff there, wrapping up the list for the day, bringing us to space weather. Uh, solar activity is dropping off into the B range. Very few sunspots, just this tiny active region that could be flaring at all, uh, which is why we have low level activity. Some coronal holes facing Earth, and that's what's pushing uh, the KP up occasionally. And so we could look for more of that activity as another coronal hole is about to face us. And this hole is continuing to traverse. But overall, very quiet on the sun. Tonight, second night of the peak of the Leonids. You just get out and look east. The best viewing uh, is in pre-dawn hours. So if you're an early riser, get up early and do that. This meteor shower is caused by the debris from Comet 55P Temple Tuttle. Let's just blow up the image here. Oh, absolutely beautiful. The continuing saga of anti-tails and tails around 3i Atlas. Are they thrusters? Is this an alien probe from Uranus? Probably not. No. It's an electric comet with different ion tails moving through in an electrical universe. And it is reacting, as predicted by the electric comet model. Nothing more. If you want to know more, check out David Drew's YouTube, Dissonant Dragon, uh, or his website, plasmacosmology.net, where he talks about 3i Atlas and all plasma cosmology things. Rex Bear and I did a three-way interview with him which many of you probably watched. We published, I think, on Oppenheimer Ranch Project the other morning. David Drew's a great guy, and so please support him over here on his new channel. He only has 101 subscribers. Let's see what we can do for Mr. Drew. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and help our channel grow. We love each and every one of you. Be safe. And that is a boom. Mm -hmm.